हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल सिविल लाइन माई सेल्फ मिलन पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल लर्न वट इज इंजीनियरिंग वट इज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एंड वेरियस ब्रांचेस ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम let's start first we will see what is engineering engineering is the part of almost everything we do from water we drink and food we eat to the buildings we live on and the roads and railways we travel on engineering is the application of mathematics scientific economic social and practical knowledge to invent innovate design and build structures machines tools systems materials processes solutions for solving the problems difficulty and improvement for mankind for instance if i talk about a mobile phone its main purpose is to make a phone call but we are using various applications in phone because we do our job easy and faster with that that same case with engineering a good engineer is a person who makes a design that works with as few original ideas as possible now we will move to our second topic which is what is civil engineering civil engineering is a professional engineering discipline that deals with planning designing construction and maintenance of physical and naturally built structural components of buildings including public works such as dams canals roads railways bridges airports sewage systems pipelines etc civil engineering considered the second oldest engineering discipline after military engineering and it is separated from military engineering during 18th century now we will move to our third topic which is branches of civil engineering Civil engineering is traditionally broken into number of small branches. Basically, it is divided into nine branches, as you can see on the screen. Let's discuss all branches one by one. First branch is surveying and leveling. What is surveying? It is an art of determining relative position of points on, above, or below the surface of the earth. So, basically, surveying is the technique. profession art and science of determining three dimensional positions of points and distances and angles between them now what is leveling it is a branch of surveying deals with determination of relative heights of the points on the surface of the earth for that first we have to understand which instruments we are going to use when we will go to the field for surveying basically we need chain tap ranging rod arrow peg plumb bob and for leveling we need dumpy level and leveling staff now next question is what are the applications of surveying right so after taking measurements in the field computation are done and the plans and maps are prepared in the office these plans and maps are used for planning of engineering works marking of boundaries and computation of areas and volumes now let's discuss the second branch of civil engineering which is building planning and construction before any construction we must have to plan a building properly right but is there any guidelines for that yes buildings are planned according to fundamental principles of building planning and various building bylaws of local municipal authorities but for that first we have to understand the main components of building as shown on screen the bottom part of the building is called as foundation which is invisible and lies below the ground just beneath the walls above foundation there is a one layer which is called as plinth layer which is between floor and the ground and above plinth one small layer is that which is called as dent roof course above that there is a floor and walls 
there are also number of components like doors and windows in window there are two components above and below above window there is called a bin which is called as lintel and below the window this is called as sill and the topmost part of the building is called as roof these are the overall components of building next we have to understand the materials which are used for construction different materials like cement sand aggregates stone steel wood concrete etc are used for construction of building lastly we can't forget the concept of 4m which are used in any building construction this 4m are main machine money and materials the construction activity should be managed in such a way that best quality construction is achieved in most economic way by organizing this 4m next we will discuss about advanced construction why advanced construction is separated from building construction because there is the construction of some of the advanced structures like dam bridges tunnels tall buildings etc and for that techniques which are used in building construction cannot be used effectively and some advanced techniques are followed by civil engineers to construct such structures such as concrete mixing plant underwater construction large scale excavator and pile foundation these are the advanced techniques used by civil engineers for advanced construction now we will discuss structural engineering in detail before designing any structure first we have to understand different types of loads acting on the building such as dead load live load wind load earthquake load etc on the basis of loads and permissible stresses in materials selection of structural elements like beams columns slabs footings are decided so it is all about analysis and design of structures nowadays various computer softwares like strat pro etaps sap sap etc are used by structure designers now let's discuss about geotechnical engineering basically it deals with soil investigation and design of proper foundation of structures all structures have to finally transfer the load acting on them to the soil safely soil properties changes from place to place hence a civil engineer has to properly investigate the soil where foundation is going to be laid or decide how this load can be spread to this soil now let's discuss the branch water resource engineering in detail water resource engineering deals with measurement of water utilization distribution and development of water resources for agriculture municipal and power generation purpose it includes planning designing and construction of hydraulic structures so water resource engineering is mainly used to construct structures like dams weirs bridges canals hydro power station pipe networks etc here hydrology is the sub branch of water resource engineering it includes study of sources of water measurement of rainfall runoff flood control etc now let's discuss the branch transportation engineering in detail first we have to know different modes of transport like roadway railway airway and waterway so basically it deals with planning designing and construction development and maintenance of roadways railways airports docks harbors tunnels bridges etc it provides faster means of transport of man machine goods etc it also helps in social and economical growth of the country materials like aggregate concrete bitumen cement must be well proportionate to achieve maximum design strength of the road now let's discuss the branch environmental engineering in detail it is the branch of engineering that is concerned with protecting people from the effects of adverse environmental effects such as pollution as well as improving environmental quality what type of problems 
can there be environment so the biggest environmental problems are greenhouse effect acid rain deforestation water pollution population growth waste production etc and the water and waste water treatment is a process used to remove contaminants from waste water or sewage and convert it into an effluent that can be returned to the water cycle with acceptable impact on the environment or reuse for various purposes kotarpur water treatment plant is the largest water treatment plant in amdavad the total capacity of the existing plant is 850 million liters per day which is called as mld with the new plant having capacity of 200 mld and the old plant having capacity of 650 mld now the next term is pollution control pollution prevention is a major global concern because of the harmful effects of the pollution on a person's health and on the environment so how to control the pollution we have to reduce the number of trips you take in your car we can eliminate fireplace and wood stove use avoid burning leaves fresh and other materials avoid using gas powered lawn and garden equipment now let's go to the town planning before understanding town planning it is important to understand the word town do you know what is town so students town is a human settlement larger than villages smaller than cities so next question is what is town planning it is an art of shaping and guiding the physical growth of the town by creating buildings and environments to meet social cultural economic and recreational needs of both rich and poor people now the next question is where town planning is used what are the objectives of town planning there are four objectives of town planning beauty convenience environment and health these four objectives are covered later on these four points are used to control or these four points needs to be considered while town planning it includes zoning of land planning of road network planning of water supply and drainage preparation of master plan of town and preparation of construction regulation in town that's all about this lecture i hope you all understand what is civil engineering how big this civil engineering discipline is and how we can divide it into nine branches of civil engineering see you soon in the next lecture